The member for Moore. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Treasurer. Will the Treasurer outline to the House how the government is guaranteeing the economic security of all Australians who have saved for their retirement? Is the Treasurer aware of any risks to these savings posed by higher taxation methods to managing the economy? The Treasurer has the call. I thank the member for more for his question and congratulate him on being able to ask a question properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you do it. Uh, Mr Speaker, the member for more is fighting hard for the more than 6,000 constituents in his electorate who will be affected by Labor's big $55 billion retiree tax. Mr. Speaker. And the constituents in his electorate, like the constituents in electorates across this chamber, Mr. Speaker, could not believe it when the member for McMahon went on the 7.30 report earlier this week arrogantly dismissing the concerns of more than one million Australians and saying that the Labor Party would not change their retiree tax one bit, Mr Speaker. Not one bit. The member for McMahon said despite all the deep concerns across this country, the Labor Party will ignore those concerns and arrogantly dismiss them. And if the people don't like Labor's retiree tax, well then don't vote Labor, he says, Mr. Speaker. Well the reality is the people who are going to be hit hardest by Labor's retiree tax are those on lower income. Those on lower income. Over eighty per cent have a taxable income under thirty seven thousand dollars. And those hardest hit will be women, Mr. Speaker, over half of whom are women and two thirds of whom are over the age of 60, and about half of whom are either single or widowed. That is the effect of Labor's policy. Now, the Labor Party says that their policy does not apply to pensioners. Well, Mr. Speaker, that is a lie. That is an absolute lie, Mr. Speaker. Their pensioner guarantee is not worth the paper it is written on. Because if you were a pensioner before the 28th of March last year and then you set up a self-managed super fund after that date, you'll be affected by Labor's policy. Now, Mr Speaker, if you were in a self-managed super fund before the 28th of March last year and you become a pensioner after that date, you'll be affected by Labor's policy. And there are around 50,000 Australian pensioners who are going to be affected by Labor's policy. Now, Mr Speaker, there are many people who are hit by Labor's policy, including Alan from Ballina in the electorate of Richmond, Mr Speaker. I'm a 76-year-old self-funded retiree, and I, my gross income has been slightly in excess of the income test for a full or partial age pension, and therefore I have not qualified for pension or benefits. But as a result of Labor's policy, if it's adopted, I will lose $2,580 a year, Mr. Speaker. Now that's real money to real people, Mr. Speaker. There's only one side of politics, and it's this side of politics: the Liberal and National parties in government under this Prime Minister that will stand by retirees and not allow the Labor Party to hit them with a retirees tax.